It's funny. It, it's 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 a golden question, isn't it? Like 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 tips for for emerging filmmakers. But it's strange. I feel like it's all the mistakes you have to make yourself that informs your path. So I used to think there was a whole bunch of and there's lots of stuff I could say, but it's very pertinent to me. And I think. I think the one thing that, you know, for every filmmaker is, like I say, as long as you know your voice or why you're doing it, uh, then that's your path. You know, some people are absolutely like dict dictatorial megalomaniac assholes and they make amazing films. Some people are the most loving people who deserve every bit of success and, and, and nothing happens for them. You know, and I think that's the thing going into this industry is, you know, everyone who gets in it wants to do well and the reality is it's not going to happen for a lot of people. But that's only if your version of, not, of it not happening is winning an Oscar and um, you know, doing $100 million studio films. And I think one of the big things that, I remember when I first went to the Oscars, like I used to live right near them, and I, and I went down one morning to get my breakfast and I realized that the, the street that I'd go get my breakfast from has now been shut down and all these statues were put up and it was the Oscars. And it was like, ah, oh, right, it's an award show. Like I, I thought there was a magical cloud in the sky and. This great thing happened, and um, then a few of my friends actually won Oscars. And, and at, afterwards, it was kind of like uh, it was like, what happened? They're like, we went to a party, we got drunk, talked to lots of famous people, uh, and then went home. And the next morning, we woke up, and food tasted the same. Still had to like take you know clean up the dog shit. Still had, to, <laughs> and it's kind of like nothing had changed. That and I, I realized that the destination really was not. It didn't exist. The destination was not part of this. It was really. That old, age I was saying, the journey, not the destination, but never before in my life have I felt more that that is so truthful. Because some of my favorite filmmakers, my idols, are some of the most miserable people I ever met. You know, and some of my heroes are busted, they're broken. You know, and, and I think it's because there's a reality you show people and there's a reality, you know, it's like when someone talks to you about, if someone has mental illness and they go, I just came out of a bad period, you know, what, were, what was every minute of that journey like for them? You don't live that, you don't experience that. So you go, oh shit, that's no good and you move on. You know, I think that's the same as filmmaking. It's like, I went through a bit of a tough patch there for a couple of years, someone might say to you. And it's like, tough, you know, tough, that's where we lose everybody. That's where everyone, that's the attrition rate of the industry. So, all right, and then you needed something concise. I guess, uh, yeah, it's just to, once you find the path, walk it, you know, and, and know that you're up against people that will die for it. So if you're not willing to go that distance, if you're doing this because you think it's some kind of, a, there's a fun thing in the edit where it somehow gets easier, uh, that's, that doesn't happen. You know? and, I, and I think that's the kind of, that's where I've seen most of my friends fall by the wayside if they have, was that they had their idea of success was one thing, it was, it was a monetary gain or whatever it was. And it's just, it's just not, that's not where it's at. You know, it is an art form. So you know, like all great art, you, kind of, you can only do your best you can put it out there and then how it's received or how well it does, that's, that's kind of, if you've given it everything you've got, that's all you can do.